me. Um, and as they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and I definitely got a hell of a lot stronger through the teasing and the being made fun of. And as I was made fun of, I realized quickly that my passion was making other people happy, making other people smile and giggle and laugh. Um, so I started to establish that as my hobby, as what I saw that needed to be done, what I wanted to be done each day. So I would make thank you cards every holiday for my teachers and for the, all the staff at the school. I would make sure to compliment a cashier's outfit or hair or whatever they were great at at a store. I would just, I, I think that uh, my vision was kind of like a microscope and I really tried to look into everyone else's positivity and everyone else's amazing things that they were incredible at. And I made sure to speak up about them, which I think a lot of people don't do. They, they realize that someone is great, but they don't say it because in this world, it isn't really normal to go up to someone on a line and say like, hey, listen, I saw you talk to your kid before and I heard you compliment them and their self-esteem went really up and I just think you're a really great mom. And it's not normal for that. People, you know, when I first started to compliment people, they would kind of look at me like, um, okay, thanks, yeah, bye, just going to call security. Um, and as I got more into that, people kind of became known of that and that that was a thing that I loved to do. And my mission in life started to become that it wasn't weird for people just to compliment other people, for other people to make, you know, someone else smile. And as I was joined at TUSY in sixth grade, um, I went from the shy, the shy girl to, with quirky, weird glasses and frizzy hair to a girl who was outgoing and funny and making friends everywhere she met and not being shy. And the bullying still happened, but quickly faded away because USY was my safe zone and I had friends there. Um, and last October, at my region's Leadership Training Institute, um, our convention for leadership, we were watching a video on Sunday morning. It was the last day of the convention. We were all tired, didn't want to go home. And our directors, uh, Michelle Rich and Rebecca Kane, wa showed us a video called Validation. And the video, if you haven't watched it yet, is basically about a parking attendant who not only validates people's parking tickets, but also validates their thoughts about themselves. And as we watched the video, I was astounded. My jaw was, you know, dropped. And I was just so excited that there was actually a name for what I love to do. Someone else knew that this was something that needed to be done. And I, I was a validator. I wasn't just a person who was weird or who complimented other people and that's not normal. I was a validator and I finally had a name for what I love to do. And after that October, I really made it my mission and I thought a lot and I said to myself, I want to make it that that video is something that everyone does, that everyone compliments everyone. And I, I knew that it was something that the whole world as a whole needed, not just USY, not just METNY, not just my community, the world as a whole needed to learn how to make other people happy because if positivity spreads, the world is a hell of a lot better. So I thought about how was the best way to spread it and I decided on a virtual level. So on January 16th, 2013, I launched the Validation Project website. Um, I didn't think that it would be as successful as it was, but you know, an hour later after I posted the website link on Facebook, I was getting chats from my friends saying, you know, this is incredible and oh my god, how can I get involved? I'm so proud of you. A week later, I got asked to be on a radio show from one of my former USY counselors and that was really the, the push, the domino effect that started what is now a global worldwide pro-kindness initiative. So, um, that the first month of the project was really just a whirlwind because for the first time in my life everyone else understood where I have been at my whole life and it was received incredibly and I would have never it would have never spread like it did if it wasn't for USY because everyone was just so on top of it sharing the link talking about it believing in it because as we all know in USY everyone is a validator everyone you know, is kind to one another and it's accepting here. And that's how I, I really, really founded my passion of validation because I thought to myself, why can't it be like there everywhere else? Um, so I started getting emails from people who I didn't even know 
from people in Africa, Germany, Korea, everywhere you can think of. And I realized that I definitely couldn't do this on my own, so I established a executive board of U.S. Wires who helped me with the different aspects of the project. And then off of those branches, since everyone else was also really interested, I established committees that were for different parts, like programming, financial aspects, merchandise, whatever you can think of. We had a committee. And I also made correspondence in each state and country. We have a correspondent. And those correspondents spread the validation project to their country or their state through whatever skills they have. Because what we do is we take people's unique skills and turn them into things that can help other people. Because the beauty of our project is that no matter what you do, you fit into our project because our project can fit into you. Um, so we have a lot of activities for whatever you are. If you're a business, we have Deeds for Deals, which basically if someone that's a customer of you does a good deed they can tell you about it or they can give you a picture of what they did whatever organization they volunteered at and you can give them five dollars off a meal for four or whatever you do um, and then for whatever skill you have as a kid we also have projects for that so we teach people how to make cards artistically we teach people how to approach someone the right way to validate we teach people how to teach special needs kids their favorite sport, whatever you do. And as much as it has been a real whirlwind and a great experience, and it's still going on, um, it has also been very hard. And I think that the biggest challenge of the validation project was my age. That when I would introduce people to the project and I would say, you know, hi, my name's Val, um, I'm 15 years old, and this is my pro... Oh, you're... You're how, I'm sorry, you're how old? I thought you said you were 15. I mean, no, you can't start a project when you're 15. And a lot of people, they would just simply judge me right off the bat because I was 15 or 14 when I started it. And that was very hard to people to tell me, you know, you have to wait until we think you're old enough to do what you love to do. And even the government told you or tells us that you have to wait until you're 18 to be the founder of a nonprofit, which is why we aren't a certified nonprofit, because I technically can't be the founder. And they're basically telling you, you can't make an impact until we think you're ready. And I believe that everyone on my board has made an impact. Everyone involved with the validation project has made an impact. So, you know, we, we can do it before we are 18. And the beauty of our project is that we're all between the ages of 12 and 23. And we're living in the moment where this is needed, where there is increased bullying, increased suicides and depression, and people feeling like they're alone. Um, and it's, it's, been, it's been really great receiving it on both sides. I talked to bullies or former bullies who now said that because of the validation project they don't feel the need to bully anymore because they don't feel alone so they don't need to project their hate onto someone else and of course the victims of bullying have been validated and know that they're not alone and there's been girls and boys who I've gotten emails from almost every month saying that they were on the verge of killing themselves and then someone said hi to them or someone complimented their hair and they obviously are still here today, and they're part of our board, they're part of our team, and it's incredible to think of the domino effect that you can create simply by one word to someone else. And it's just been, it's been incredible, um, and I'm, I'm living the dream. I'm living in the moment, and uh, this project is great, and it's really amazing to see everyone be so interested in it. So if you're watching this right now and you have a phone to keep updated with us if you're interested or be on our team, you can follow us on Instagram at The Validation Project, or you can follow us on Twitter at The Validate, or on Facebook, like us. Um, we are The Validation Project on Facebook, too. My name is Valerie Weisler. I am 15 years old, and I am a validator.